In January 2020, I was planning a sweet trip across Western Europe from Spain to Italy that May. Now it's pretty easy to see why that didn't work out then, but travel's still restricted and I currently have a dangerously empty bank account, so it's gonna be a little while until I can make that trip happen. But I dream about traveling all the time still, and I recently bumped into a subreddit called One Bag. It's about the art of minimalist packing. There's not really any rules or parameters to it, it's just fitting everything that you need into one single bag. Now this matches how I intuitively pack, so with my canceled trip in mind, I decided that I'd make a video about how I would pack for an overseas trip of exploration and filmmaking. Now the lighting in here is a little moody and you guys aren't gonna be able to see anything, so I'll fix the lighting in here. All right. So first things first, let's talk about the bag. This is the Patagonia Black Hole Duffel. It is 55 liters and it does everything that I want it to, honestly. It has these great handles up here and then Beyond that, it has two removable backpack straps, so you can turn this thing into a huge ass backpack as well, which is really convenient. Uh, perfect for being just one bag, it does both things really well. But that's not what we're here for, let's break it down, what's inside. And then open up. Again, this bag is really simple, there's essentially three compartments. There's this up here, where you can keep kind of just whatever small things, miscellaneous items a main compartment, and then this section up here. Uh, you can also fold this bag into itself and make it really compact, which isn't something that I do, but now that I mention it, I should because it saves a lot of space. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so right away I'm gonna be cheating a little bit. Here is a bag that I bring uh, pretty much everywhere I go now. It's just like a little crossbody bag from Home Skate Shop in Louisville. Shout out to them, great place. So in here I keep just about all my really essential items like I said. First things first, keys. Then open it up into this main compartment. I have a Kindle, which is essential for the flights. Passport, wallet, and then my travel earbuds of choice. These are the Jaybird Terras, super affordable, decent sound quality, good battery life, and they fit in my ears really well, so they are a staple for me. And that's really everything that I keep in here. This thing can fit a lot of things that I wouldn't expect it to. I pretty much always wear this thing on my shoulder whenever I'm going just out and about, so that's that. And the other thing that doesn't fit in here but is also a travel necessity is right here. These are my Sony headphones. I don't remember the model number. WH-1000XM3. These are amazing. Great noise canceling. Awesome sound quality. Would not go on a plane without them at this point. So these get the pass to go everywhere with me. Um, we can pull this bag back a little bit. I guess we'll start going over camera here. So for travel, uh, pretty much the only tripod that I want to bring with me is this Joby Gorilla Pod. Um, I have another bigger tripod, but really I'd prefer to get away with this if possible. It depends on the trip. If I know that I can't get away with this, then I would opt to bring another one as well. But ideally I would bring just this. That's my go-to tripod really. It works pretty well for the most part and it just has a lot of functionality, which is great. So let's break into my kind of camera pouch. Usually in here I'd have my Sony a7 II with my Sony Zeiss 16-35mm f4, but that's what I'm using to shoot right now. In here I'm cheating a little bit on space, I suppose, because half of this would be filled with a camera and a lens, but bear with me. So this is the Sony 85mm f1.8, more of a portrait lens, but it's really great for shot variety and getting some nice details. It's super sharp. Uh, a little beat up, but it gets the job done and definitely takes really crispy pictures and videos. This is a variable ND filter. I used to be against these, to be honest, because I thought that they would reduce the image quality too much with the double glass, but I was wrong. These things are the truth. It's so nice to be able to just adjust this ring instead of messing with any camera settings. So really everything just looks identical. Uh, it's like adjusting the ISO without messing up the grain at all. This cost me about 40 bucks, but really honestly a game changer for me. Here I have a huge microfiber cloth that I'm not going to take out of the packaging because it's kind of hard to get in there. <laughs> so that's obviously good for just cleaning all my devices, particularly my camera lenses. This is a top handle for a camera. It has a cold shoe mount so what I can do is just put it on top of my camera and then it helps me get much smoother handheld shots. These things aren't that expensive and they go a long way for shooting video on the go. I recommend them. What's exciting, we got some extra cam batteries and a charger. Honestly, could use more at this point because the A7 II batteries don't have the most life, but I'll probably just 
get a new camera, honestly, before I get more batteries. And then I got one more thing in here. I uh, got the Aperture Amron M9. This is a really small, compact light. You're not gonna use it to light up the whole room or anything like that. But if I need to get a shot of like something in a restaurant or a hotel room and it's dark, this thing comes in super clutch and it fits in a phone mount. And my phone is being used right now to take this shot, but I usually keep a phone mount with me as well. And that's everything that goes in this. And this is just like some kind of yellow ape case. I've had this thing for a while now, but I really like the yellow because in this black whole bag that's very dark, uh, it sticks out a lot. All right, moving forward with the camera gear and stuff, I have this little aperture case that the M9 actually came in. And in here I have a Samsung T7 portable SSD. Holds my data very quick. Uh, I don't know if I would bring this or not, honestly. If I needed to bring my laptop, then I would, so that I could move the stuff from my car on my laptop on here. Um, but if I don't bring my laptop, I don't know if I would bring this. And then in here, I have an adapter for my MacBook. Again, depending on whether or not I bring my laptop, I prefer not to. I keep a USB-C to lightning cable. I really like these tiny ones. Uh, they're just very compact, space saving, and they get the job done. And then I have two additional SD cards that I like to bring around. One 256 gigabyte and one 16 gigabyte. So if I ran out of storage, I have some extra or if something went wrong with my card, again, I have backup. So like I said, this stuff is kind of dependent on whether or not I had my laptop. I think if I were to go on a big trip right now and I didn't have my laptop, I would get one of those devices that lets me import storage directly from an SD card to the device or SD card to my phone or something like that. I would definitely need to have a better data solution than what I have right here. Keeping up with technology and stuff, let's go in here. This is another Patagonia black hole bag. I love these things. My backpack is a Patagonia black hole too, but this is mostly all power related stuff. So let's get into it. Got an anchor power bank uh, for my iPhone SC. I found out this week that this thing can charge my iPhone, I think like six or seven times, which is really sweet. Always just good to have for traveling too. I have an Aki power adapter, got five USB ports on it, can charge all my devices when I go to bed at night. I wish I had a USB-C at this point, or maybe two USB-Cs at this point. Also, I forgot to mention that uh, this isn't the factory charger for my camera batteries. I got this one off Amazon. Either way, uh, you can put two batteries on it and it has a micro USB port so that I can use this thing to charge my batteries instead of taking up a whole wall outlet with the charger that comes with it. So that's really nice. So we have just a regular kind of sized anchor lightning to USB cable. Again, I like this one because it's red and uh, it's easy to find. Although I can't say that I have that for all my cables. I have a big USB to USB-C cable. Uh, so I don't think I actually have anything here right now that could use USB-C. Again, but if I was maybe bring my laptop, maybe bring my Switch, this would come along for the ride. This is a backup power adapter for my phone or any other thing that uses USB. This is the charger for the Jaybird Terras. As much as I love the Jaybird Terras, the propriety charger isn't great, but uh, at least it's small enough, so I don't mind it too much. Um, I also keep in there chapstick, uh, one of these Copic pens, and a Paper Mate lead pencil. Uh, these are pretty much go-tos for me. Got another one of these USB-C to lightning cables, very small. Got a USB to USB-C cable, again, uh, USB to micro USB cable. Always good to have, these things are super versatile. Uh, there's a lot of micro USB stuff in my kit still. And this one usually goes for charging my camera batteries. Just the stock Apple headphone with the lightning port on them. If I'm really <laughs> in dire straits and my Javers aren't working, my Sonys aren't working, or I don't have either of them, uh, hopefully I have these and can listen to audio in one way or another. And then the last thing in here, a little baggie of some adapters. In here I have a very tiny USB to micro USB cable, lightning to auxiliary adapter that comes with the iPhone. And then in here I have a micro SD to USB adapter. But again, just good stuff to have and this doesn't take up much space so I'm okay just keeping it in the bag. And that's everything that goes in here. All right, now we are on to clothing. So I guess the first thing in here is my North Face boots. Um, I don't know what these are called actually, I wonder if it says on here anything. No, I don't see the name, but these are my North Face winter kind of hiking boots. Uh, they're Gore-Tex waterproof, they're super light too, as far as hiking shoes go. I think these are a nice hybrid between like a sneaker and a traditional hiking boot. They have a little more ankle support, a little bit of warmth to them. I just got these last year, but I really love them. So they will be a go-to whenever I'm traveling. Uh, the next thing I have in here is this little toiletry bag. There's not too much in here. Um, just kind of the essentials like toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, 
deodorant and razor. Pretty much everything I need provided I can get like soap, shampoo, conditioner and stuff wherever I'm staying. If not though, it would fit in here no problem. And then the rest that fits in here is clothes. So I'll just run through it real quick. If I'm going somewhere, I'm mostly focused on like the outdoorsy portion of being there. Uh, so I don't have too much like regular clothing. I have two plain navy shirts, a light brown pair of khakis, and a dark brown pair of khakis. Then switch over to more athletic portion of stuff. Got Adidas sweatpants. I think these are like Athleta joggers, black joggers, very light, athletic shorts, athletic shorts, and more athletic shorts. And then I have three athletic short sleeves and two athletic long sleeves. A lot of this stuff is like dry fit material, all very light, comfortable to move in. And then the only remaining stuff in here is just underwear and socks. And real quick, if you don't know, when we put you on a smart wool socks, comfortable in pretty much all temperatures. They don't like get your feet sweaty when it's hot and they keep your feet really warm when it's cold. Uh, they cost a pretty penny for as far as socks go, but I really do love them. All right, and that's everything that I would bring on a trip with me if I were to go overseas right now. Uh, I think it actually went pretty well, and I think it's pretty accurate. I think this really would be very close to everything that I would need to go overseas and be okay right now. Uh, there's a couple things that I might bring, like maybe my laptop or maybe my Switch uh, if I really wanted to. But I think for the most part, this is very accurate. And if there's anything that you think is a travel essential that I don't have here, be sure to let me know because I'm always curious to find out what other people like to travel with. But I think that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, now I gotta now I gotta pack all this shit up again. <laughs>